Lawrence. Okay, so we had a little bit of fun with the intro or the little short to kind of like tease you in to it. So there's a couple things going on. Uh, one, uh, Mikey and I came up with a great idea about testing out different types of alcohol with alcoholic. So, no, I'm not getting drunk. The painting is. <laughs> so, anyway, today we start with tequila. <laughs> and, um, Erica, my buddy, our, uh, my other art buddy and sister, got these from Judy. And it was funny is when she brought them out on the video, oh, it was a few weeks ago or something like that. It's like, oh, I got mine too. So I'm going to whip them out too. And I know she did a video today where she did a random pull. And why not? Let's do the same thing. So that's kind of what the theme is going to be today. Hey, Carrie, you literally probably hopped over from the other one. And so did you, Evelyn. Hello, both of you guys. Hi, Julie. Hi, Janice. Hey, Shannon and Sylvia. Okay, so a lot going on, and for those of you, and, and Lori popping in, hello. Okay, so the fun part of the, the idea that we had was to, and I'm just going to recap this a little bit for those that are hopping in now, is, no, I'm not getting drunk, but we're going to try out different alcohols with the alcohol link because, you know, why not, and it's fun, and, and also it could be fun for, like, tying into a video, it's like, you know, Kind of done with this stuff and we go on a trip to the liquor store and get different brands of clear alcohol. But, also thought we'd throw in some randomness and do different colors. So, that's the plan for today. Yes. <sighs> Erica! Yeah, you're right. Drunk painting. It's only 30-30. Well, my painting will get a little spirited, but I won't. See, I got boxes too. They're great. I didn't ask you to pick out a box yet. Well, we'll oh. just have to open up both of them. Right, did it stick to my hair? I totally did. Quit. <laughs> it's clingy. I don't want clingy. Here we go. Erica, you're going to have to check out the short when you're done with this because we had some fun on the short. Okay, Mikey. This one or this one? Uh, the right. My right. You're right? This one? It's a one. Okay, I'll put this one on. Because it's always right. Okay. So, let's see now. Now i got to figure out randomness. I don't know how you did it, Erica, with a little blade, but, you know. Okay, Mikey, tell me when. When? And I am also going to take it. Oh gosh, how do you get it out of the blinky blink box? Okay, seriously? Alright, we're going to do best of three. Okay. Three. Tell me when. Really? When? <laughs> <laughs> when? <laughs> Mikey is an instigator, by the way, if you haven't figured this out yet. Okay. Let me win them again. <laughs> when? <laughs> All the way to the end. So, give me an idea what Mikey's character is like. I have to rat on him a little bit. So, there's a video that's going around. Oh, no. It's another little short. And I think what it was is... um. There was this whole thing about a guy like, you know, trying to grab this guy around the the shoulder or something like that. It was a defense mechanism. And it showed this one guy being ooh, uber strong and soldier-like and trying to, you know, break the thing. And it showed this other guy where he goes and goes, ah. And the guy goes, ah. That's pretty much my key in a nutshell. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And you don't know what I'm talking about? Nope. I totally know what you're talking about. What I'm talking about here. Okay. So... These are almost, no. Okay, so let's see. 
What's happening? Oh, holy crud. I have not been paying attention to my chat. Uh-oh. There's a whole lot of highs going on. Hi. Hi, Libby. Hey, Janice. I think I said hi to Janice. Great alcohol rocks for alcohol links. Oh, that's good. This is 40 proof, so I don't know what that means as far as how it's going to behave. So we're just going to give it a go. Yeah, mine are very similar, except for the, the odd one with the um, turquoise and the blood orange. That's what he said. When, when did I throw that out? I don't remember throwing that out. Hi, Mandy. What's in the bottle? Okay. We have hornitas, tequila. I'm not getting drunk. My painting is. So, we had a silly idea about, you know, every so often just doing some funny stuff. It was like, you know, screw this. Go to the liquor store. Go buy a different brand of clear liquor and try it out on alcohol links just, just to have fun with it. So, we happen to have hornitas in our closet. Um, the fact that it's a large bottle, please don't judge me. Um, but yeah, we like margaritas around here occasionally. So we're using this instead of 91% alcohol. Alcohol abuse. <laughs> <laughs> and just to prove, I wanted to throw this in here just so that you can see me doing this. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but probably not going to be able to drink it after this. Meaning what's in here. Okay. And then I'll put it in a little bottle too. Okay, so that's my 91%, so we're going to put that to the side. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. This is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. And I know Eric is already going to pick the orange because it's probably paybacks. But uh, you guys vote. Which, which grouping should I do? So again, one, two, three. Yes. I think it'll be enough on both of those. You know a distributor? <laughs> you need more minus. <laughs> I better get busy on the paintings. I'm seeing a lot of threes. We got a one, three, and two. Another three. Another three. Okay, so far threes in the lead. Oh, Eric can pick two. Because I'm pretty. <laughs> oh, Penny! I did not read that right. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Three threes and... One, two. Two twos. Let's see. Two looks hard. Uh-oh. Mandy, you're like, a lot like me. You pick out the hard ones, huh? Or just a, uh oh, another three in there. Just in case you paint. You, <laughs> she really wants the three. Bad. She can find it like three times. Oh no, y'all are gonna make me do math. It's too Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. First stop in there. It's, 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 it's in there. It's in there. It is three. It is in there. Okay. So let's see. There's <laughs> plastic everywhere now. Alright, now I gotta get some colors out. I think I've already got my black out. Alright, Mikey, entertain him. What? What? <laughs> what do you mean, what? Entertain him! You know what? That's your job. What do you mean that's my I'm job? I'm just the cameraman. You're just cheeky. Are you running away now? Yes. You are not running away, Baja Blue. What? How the Baja Blue? No. Maybe that's my Ron Aqua. That's what it is. Aha. Okay, I gotta do. Let's see, dark blue. I think I got a midnight blue color. I'm gonna test out all my colors here. Indigo. Ah. Now I know why you put on a video in the background. Erica? Okay. Clean terracotta. 
Hey, happen to have a terracotta. Let's see. That's like to have. And there's terracotta. Hey, I got a match. We're good. Mm. Okay, we'll put that to the side. Y'all are coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's to run into the bathroom. <laughs> Chili. <laughs> Okay. It, it, well, it was a brilliant idea, um, Erica, about throwing a video on. So I'm, I'm not sure I got some YouTube appropriate videos right now. So yeah, meaning the ones on my iPad. I'll put it that way. Okay. Too much info. Here we go. <laughs> We're getting there. And I'm going to break my own, own rules already and throw some... Brass and I'm not checking that. Brass in the mix. Where is my brass? Here it is. This to the side because I'm gonna get ink everywhere. Okay. All right, Hornitas don't fail me now. So Erica, what is wrong with your torch? That thing is scary. With it flaming out the way it goes? Jeez. Oh, whoa. Oh, that, that, it that. It looks different already. It already looks different. I want, oh, I hope it's going to behave with the dyes. Oh, dear. Okay. Huh. Okay. I might save some of that black for last as I dribble some on there. Oh, okay. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Oh, oh, there's repelling going on. <laughs> oh, whoa. Now, I will say this much. There is a little bit of 91% alcohol already in the bottle. So we got that. And a horny... Mm -hmm. Ooh, you should smell this. Mikey, you got some... Uh oh. It's already starting to break up here. Oh, no. Let's see what we can do. Can you make it work? Let's I don't see. know! We might need some Everclear. Ooh, not right now. Not right now. Actually, you know what's interesting? I think those dots right there are the Ranger alcohol inks. Smell like tequila? Yeah, pretty much. I think that's exactly what that is. Let's see if I can blend that in at least so it doesn't have the, the strong dots. Is it going to evaporate? Yeah. <laughs> will it evaporate? I know. Well, eventually I think it will, but, you know, will it evaporate on my life? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. What have I done? Okay, well, this fellas will start from brass at it. Whoa. It was not flavored tequila. It was just plain, plain, well, this is Plata. 100% agave. Let's serve some brass at it. Maybe that'll make everything better. Great. That's a liquor smell, that's for sure. It does. Okay, let's throw. All right, you know, I don't have Rhonda here. Let's just throw her color at it. Maybe it'll, she'll make it work. <laughs> I 
I, I don't know, Mikey. You can do it. I can do it. I don't know. Fight the agave. Fight the agave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost tempted to get the heat gun to help encourage the uh, evaporating. Ah! Is that the same way it rea reacts with water? No, it just doesn't. It, yeah, it's not evaporating at all. Uh oh. Evelyn says, breathe deeply. <laughs> <laughs> Can we lick the painting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you want to. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Can I use regular alcohol? Please, please, please. <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> it is kind of starting to work over here. But what? Yeah. Let me try soaking it up with a Wait towel a or something. Does the painting, let's see what, come with the salt and lime? Yeah. <laughs> this may be worth it just for the, all the thoughts. Okay, I've got a heat gun on this thing. Let's we'll, we'll just see. We're not doing the torch because I think that would be a bad idea. I'll try and see if we can speed up the process of uh, evaporating. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible. I think this was okay. Yeah. This may be a case of one of those uh, trying to do texture where you leave the texture thing on it and then leave it outside for a while. Maybe there's some interesting patterns going on. There is like little squiggly patterns in the background. Definitely isn't a Clara Marble though. Uh, I, I think Clara has uh, fallen off and crawled under the table right now as far as the Clara Marble part. <laughs> Maybe it reminds me more of a burrow where it has all the little wormholes all over the place. Okay. would be fun. Yeah, no. Uh, the, yeah. Light it up. Heck yeah. <laughs> okay, so clearly tequila and trying to create an alcohol in painting is not going to work. So, I'll put this stuff to the side. <laughs> Bad alcohol. For, for now. <laughs> and then let's try to get the 91% see what we can do with this. Hot mess. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Can you recover it? Can I recover? I don't know. Okay. Let's do what I know works. Let's bump up a little bit of... Am I almost out of black? No, I'm not. There we go. Okay. Bring a little bit of the blue. It is kind of interesting, though. It is. The little wiggly guys are kind of cool. If you wanted to maybe just work... That might be a way to create Burlwood at an alcohol aid. <laughs> Add tequila. <laughs> Add tequila. <laughs> and just use brown tones and stuff. I bet you could. So <laughs> Did it work in this case? Yeah, not so much. Is it entertaining? Yup. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. I think we can. You got this. <laughs> so what should I try next? Should I do the Everclear or should I do 
like gin or rum. I bet Everclear would be the most successful, definitely. Probably the most successful. May have to air out the place. Proceed with caution. The rum we might have to wear our, you know, <laughs> a pirate outfit for, you know. <laughs> A little bit of one doppel in there. I have to reactivate some colors. If they'll do it, <laughs> they're not too under the table. I'm curious how this turns out. You are? Yeah. You little fee. Actually, I have no idea if it's going to turn out <laughs> myself. <laughs> but we're just going to go for it. So I know we tried a bunch of different weird stuff when it came to um, COVID and supplies were shortened with everything. Mandy, Mandy says, uh, if you use rum, definitely speak pirate throughout it. <laughs> that would be fun. That would, We could have a lot of fun with that one. Maybe yes. I can get like a voice changer working or something. <laughs> Arr. That'd be hilarious. It would be funny. It would be funny. Oh, Julie's wondering if the blue bottoms are blooming. They are blooming, but they're at the, towards the end of their cycle right now. So you're starting to get some more of the, the browns and the darker greens and stuff. And the uh, intensity of the blues are starting to fade away a little bit. They, they usually bloom for about a month and about two and a half weeks into it. They're at their best. So now we're at the kind of, oh, they're still there, but yeah, they're starting to lose their like wow factor. Okay, this is looking promising. A little bit promising. All right, let's bring in a little bit of that. Look at that. You can see some interesting texture going on there. Yeah, I'm going to leave some of the texture because why not? And it'll be conversation piece. I used tequila on this piece. <laughs> right? My drunk painting. Here we go. This is looking better. Okay, we're getting happier. Phew. All right, I'm gonna do soften this up right around the outside. See if I can leave some of the mess in there, because I think it'll be fun. We try. Pretty right there. All right, where's that? We almost got it. So my color book is coming along. I just got through doing a bunch of pictures of all the like the different colors and stuff, meaning the different products to put in the back, so that people can find out where I get all my products from. And now it's just a matter of putting everything together, so I'm looking at probably a little less than two weeks away. 
This will be cool. Now you get this thing done. If you can't use your fingers, why not? You know? Most expensive tools we got here are our fingers. Alright, Mikey. What do you want on this corner? Uh, I don't know. That is Surprise not, me. That is not a good color. I don't have an I don't knows. I am fresh out of I don't knows. Then put on some surprise me. Surprise you? Yeah. I might have a little bit of surprise me. There we go. One drop of surprise me. I might have to put a little bit of that terracotta somewhere else. Because that is very orangey right there. I hope this eventually dries. <laughs> it will. I hope. Such confidence. <laughs> Much fun. So this area here looks fairly dry. This area, <laughs> not so much. Let's see. Almost there. you guys think? <laughs> I was looking at the comment what uh, talking about the voice changer. Yeah. We we you found an app that would do voice changing. I did. Is that I have to get but OBS we could do it for working. the oh oh you got I have to get OBS now. working but I could eventually <laughs> so Next, not tomorrow, but the following Wednesday, we're going to do, um, I think they're calling it trains on YouTube. Um, but basically, we're going to stack one video next to another video next to another one. And it's gonna, what it's going to do is it's going to start with me at 4.15, and then I believe it goes to Just Janice, and then to Julie, and then to Erica. And then the last one on it is um, Tish with uh, the Artist Haven at 7. So I'm at 4.15, I think. Oh, I don't remember the time slots it, off the top of my head. But basically, you swap out channels and stuff. And it helps support all the artists and, and help build their channels up. We end up helping out each other doing that. Good exposure for everybody. So I will put the links in the description below on my video next week. So all you got to do is go to the description, click on the link, and be able to go to it. So that's the plan. We're going to give that a try. What do you guys think? Do you think I should add a little bit more contrast in the middle? I'm thinking yes. That's kind of where my mind's going, just a little bit. Just maybe, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Why is my waiting when I know I'm going to do it? Okay. So a lot of times what I like to do is put a darker color in some brass and move that up and down. And now I collect some of the colors underneath. makes everything kind of connect together. And also give a little bit of drama too. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and 
change direction. And sometimes you can get a paintbrush to kind of change the shape if you're not happy with the little fingers that we're developing. In my case, the fingers were driving me nuts. So Mandy wants to see a light colored bloom in the middle. A white colored what? A light colored bloom. Bloom? Yep. Isn't that acrylic painting that they do the blooms? How am I getting... <laughs> bloom like a flower oh I know what you're talking about I know exactly what you're talking about yeah that's not happening right now with the amount of ink I've got layered on top of each other mm -mm. a light color bloom is not gonna be in the forte I think that works out pretty good though. I'm happy with that. Check that out. I almost wonder if I need to bring a little terracotta over here a little bit. As I said, I'm happy with that and I add another color in there. Oh, that's me. Just to make it make sense. Those colors are looking good. And it works out. Good okay. Color combo. It's like it was planned out or something. Alright. I am gonna get a little bit of gold on my fingers. Let's see if I can drop some gold around. Just because I've got some drops over there. Just kinda make sense. Get off my hand. <laughs> Makes my hand look good. <laughs> you have the golden touch. Just a couple. Not too much. Because I keep adding more. Alright, Erica. See, I do splat too. <laughs> okay, now my hand's... What do you guys think? I like. Okay, Hornitas, no worky for alcohol inks. It's <laughs> it did some cool things though. But <laughs> it it did. I mean this texture in here is really interesting. Let's see, I'm gonna bring it down. Whoop, I'm gonna try and bring it down. Okay, everybody going for a ride. So we got interesting little textures in here where it gets all wiggly and stuff. And I kept some of it over here too. Try Everclear next time. I could do that. I got I got a bottle in the Definitely. in the back. And we got a little bit more over here. So if you want more texture and all that, go with something that is slow to evaporate. So that helps out a lot. All right, so tomorrow's live. You want to put it on in the other thing and all? <laughs> in the doohickey and dealer buffer thing? Yes. All right, Erica, just a heads up. Because tomorrow we're going to work on a dragon, but I don't want to say we're going to do a geode style, but kind of keep those thoughts in mind, but not geode, but with the dragon. So we're going to start working on that. We're not going to finish it tomorrow, 
but we're definitely going to start working on it. That's going to be a big project. So it's going to be like huge canvas. And I'm still trying to wrap my brain around all the different layers that I'm going to work on it. But I'm really excited about it. Um, I think what we're going to do tomorrow is work on... Well, let me start over again. I'm going to have it pre-drawn out. And I'm going to put the masking fluid down. So that'll be ready. And so we'll lay out the background of it. Um, blend in any of the background that works on the inside. Pull up the masking fluid. And then I'm going to lay down some uh, crystals. And then we're going to resin those down lightly. And then I have to stop at that point because obviously the resin's got a cure. And then I'll, I'll continue the piece on. So I'm really excited about this one because hopefully I can get what's in my brain on canvas. So, and I have a feeling this piece is going to be really heavy too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I ordered a bunch of glass. And uh, Erica sells the glass. So we got some big chunks and some little crushed glass. I also got some uh, little quartz points, I think they're called. So I'm going to use that as well. Um, I'm debating on whether or not to use hot glue to put the points down and then build up the crystals around it. I'm going to figure that out, but I'll have my hot glue gun ready just in case. So that wraps it up for today. Um, Rhonda at RK3 Designs is tonight at 7 p.m. Central. So check her out because she does magic with epoxy and countertops and I just, I'm always blown away by, it's like, okay, how's she going to work this out? Because her stuff really has that, you know, when you work on art, you get to that ugly stage. And hers can get like that really ugly stage. I'm like, how's she going to make this pretty? And then it turns out dynamite every time. So check her out tonight. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 3.30.